I've just got off the bus at a place called The Village in Windsor Great Park and uh, uh, yeah, I don't know it, uh, well, The Village uh, yeah, there's a name that's, that, that's a name that uh, kind of like describes the area so uh, this, I, I may have uh, this might not be all that suitable for walking in Windsor Great Park I think it's more suitable I mean, they have this tarmac uh, road, so, not, so there's no, there's more or less traffic free, but uh, yeah, not not all that nice to walk on. Unfortunately, uh, although, although the sun might possibly come out later, but this October, uh, this would be the good time for walking, this kind of walk. But up there in the distance, there's some kind of a equestrian statue. It's not the cup of horse, but it's. Uh, this is Queen Anne's drive, I think. So I'll uh, leave the tarmac lane here and, and go down here. I'm heading towards the Cup of Horse. Continuing down Queen's Anne Drive. I've only really just started this walk, and you know, if the weather's not too bad, I'll. This is called the Millstone. <laughs> yeah. Commemorate 1,000 years of the High Sheriff of Windsor, maybe. Uh, Windsor Castle is somewhere in the distance, which disappeared into the gloom. Okay, I'm heading on the tarmac road. Uh, <laughs> is that, that's a strange object in the sky up there. I haven't seen it for some days. Be tick aware. <laughs> okay, this is I think the Peewick Gate. This is the uh, deer enclosure. I just spotted another walker on this, uh, well, uh, yeah, look at that, the gloom, visibility, yeah. Okay, uh, there's the famous long walk disappearing into the gloom, and somewhere in that gloom is Windsor Castle, so it kind of rather defeats the purpose when you can't see it. But I can see that though, the, the copper, famous copper statue. So I'll go up and have a, I'll have a look at that. That's my first uh, destination. As I, as I say, at the end of that long walk, and it will be a long walk because it's a straight line, perfect straight line, is Windsor Castle. And facing the other end of the long walk, on this kind of, appears, appears to be a natural rocky outcrop, is the uh, equestrian statue of George III. Yeah, first sighting of the deer. The deer uh, in Windsor Great Park. Continuing on my walk to Bishop's Gate, and there's some horse riders. This is fairly ideal for horse riding, uh, this park. It's a pity the sun's not shining because this is the time of year when a walk like this would be uh, first class for a corset sun tarmac. And again, uh, really, I'd have been better off bringing my bike, but it's uh, just for, but it seemed an extravagance just for one day. Yeah, the leaves are falling, but uh, I've got my bearings. I took, uh, yeah, I was off. I took quite. I wasn't quite on the right path I intended, but um, yeah, I'm back on the. Uh, I've got my bearings again now. The the cow pond, right? This is so. This is. Uh, yeah, this, this looks like a fairly pleasant place. Lots of. <laughs> well, so this would be a pleasant walk in itself, just going around the circuit of the, this pond. I'm in the Savile Gardens restaurant. £1.60 for a cup of tea and £4.50 for a, a bag of not, not too bad, there's a... Huh, I'm not the only guest here. Wow. Yeah. Sarah, 
Windsor Great Park to the Savile Garden. And, uh, this is the inside the information centre. And here uh, is the Windsor Great Park, the southern half of it. I, uh, I won't be going that, that far south. There's Savile Garden there. I'll be. Well, I've got a long, long walk back to Windsor, see how I go. Several gardens entrances down there, it's under renovation, there's a temporary entrance. But there's a, a quite an imposing site there. The Duke of Cumberland, obelisk to the Duke of Cumberland, to celebrate his victory at Culloden over the, uh, the Scots, the Jacobites in Scotland. Yeah, welcome. Probably be a pretty crowded spot on a good summer's day. It is a good spot for, uh, for having a picnic. Some picnic tables there. There's the obelisk. It's a very pleasant spot here. You can mature trees. This was a good example of a tree right here. A nice spot for. A, yeah, they're all. Uh, yeah. Royal grounds. And, uh, that may have been planted that tree there in, in the Duke of Cumberland's time. That's obelisk water. I'll, uh, I'm not sure I'll get around to seeing the Virginia water, which is about a mile south of here. Uh, but I'll, at least I've seen this this one here, Ob obelisk water, uh, lake, I think it's called. There's a little path that comes down from the obelisk and crosses this bridge at the end of uh, at the end of the lake here. Yeah. Yeah, this is the long, long, long walk back to uh, Windsor. I see how it goes. Well, it probably might take me might take me three hours. over there, the polo fields. There's uh, Cumberland Gate in the lodge uh, to uh, Cumberland. And a bit of work on the roof there. Continue on my way. See, I'll continue on my way. This is the uh, driveway to uh, uh, Cumberland Lodge. And apparently the trees on either side were planted, well, over two about two centuries ago. Those uh, walkers must actually be employed in Cumberland Lodge. Right there, Cumberland Lodge. Yeah. You can't quite see. Someone else on having his photograph taken. It's tennis courts. Where I tend to get lost when there's a maze of junctions. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven junctions here. Yeah, they look like yeah, yeah, they're big, big hawks up there. <laughs> and you can see that's Champlain Lodge there, I think. So, uh, so, so which way do I go now? Down there? It's really pleasant wood, woodland. It would be, of course, much better if the sun came out, but really, uh, if you can hold out because of the distance, distances involved. Uh, that's Oxpond down there, and I think that's the Free Castle's right, that, uh, which goes to the uh, copper statue. Duke of Cumberland's mounted cavalry. So I, uh, I believe I go down here. Now I can see the copper horse in the distance up there. Can you, you can pick it out? Right up there. All right, so now it's a, more or less a straight line 
all the way back to Windsor. Uh, well, uh, uh, yeah, at least a two hour walk I think from here. There it is ahead, the imposing uh, copper monument to King George III. It is uh, not quite as misty now as it was earlier on, so when I get to this rise up here, I might, uh, I might be able to see Windsor Castle in the, in the distance. Wind's picked up a bit. That might be the, that might be the Royal School there. Uh, let's hope the rain. The rain. Uh, the equestrian copper statue, and Windsor Castle is is in sight now. Down that uh, what they call the long walk down there. Uh, you can see what it's called, the long walk uh, straight. So it has no turns. So the castle is just, you can just about see it in, in the mist. They must have had this, this uh, particular uh, uh, roadway in mind, or walkway. When they had that expression, it's a long road that has no turnings. And uh, there's the statue up there, and that will gradually diminish in size, and hopefully Windsor Castle in, will increase in size. Okay, continuing down this long walk, and I just passed some walkers there, and they probably go going. They probably started from the other end of the long walk. Oh, there's some more walkers right here. This is, uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know if you can just see it, it's just disappearing. There's a, the other one of those planes that's constantly flying over Windsor. Oops, oh, look at that, I've got a visitor, a stag. He's, he's ready to give, <laughs> he's not taking much notice of the likes of me. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't like to be charged by one of those. Yeah. run for it with those antlers they've got. Yeah. It is a deer park here. Yeah. Here it is. We have passed that horse rider there uh, a little earlier on. Uh, ideal for uh, ideal for uh, horse riding this uh, Windsor Great Park. At this point where we've got these gates, uh, it's roughly the halfway point between the statue and uh, the castle. So this is where you start to get a bit, this is where Her Majesty, if she has a suggestion box, I would suggest putting in the odd, uh, well, bench along this walk just to rest your, rest your weary feet. Uh, I don't know if you can see, there's the, one of the, uh, one of the planes. Not going down into Windsor, it's, uh, Windsor's directly onto the flight path. There's a busy road to cross there. And, uh, King George the Third statue is way back there somewhere. And, uh, Windsor Castle definitely not starting to look closer. It's a busy road there. Uh, so, uh, 
a big contrast from the peace and quiet of Windsor Great, Great Park. And uh, I'm starting to get a, a well, I'm not too far from the end of this walk, but uh, Windsor Home Park is over there, not allowed inside. And uh, I'm starting to get a bit of a blister on my uh, on my foot. I've, well, I'll be all right for the because I'm always uh, uh, at the closing stages of this walk. But uh, uh, yeah. has to listen to those all day long flying overhead yes, Windsor Castle is in definitely much closer now and the King Charles statue oh I can pick it out this in the mist probably yeah. you really pick out in the mist Not much in the way of facilities on this long walk, so it's a question of uh, hanging on until some facilities uh, come along. When Her Majesty uh, takes up weekend residence at this uh, abode, uh, I believe this is the entrance she may use. Escape the uh, yeah, I'm not sure though. You can see for security reasons they have these bollards to stop, uh, well, yeah, unauthorized visitors. Okay, this way to the town. Of some of the properties. That property has a price tag of about eight million pounds, Riverside. Uh, yeah. Let's see. High price, one million one hundred ninety-five thousand. There's a sought-after location. What's the price tag on that one? Ah, price reduction. Uh, four bedrooms, eight hundred and fifty thousand pounds. All right. And, um, up ahead is the Guildhall. And funny enough, I haven't seen that yet in the two days I've been in Windsor. There's an imposing-looking church there, which I nearly missed. And I haven't uh, been up this street in Windsor in the two days uh, I've been here. The guild hall ahead. This is, this is the older part of Windsor in here. There's the guild hall. And there's the facilities. Oh, yeah. A handy location. They have uh, converted the, uh, the guild hall to a museum. I won't go inside. But, uh, one of the things you can visit. Uh, visit a museum. Got in here to get some money, and uh, I, spot, I spotted this placard here. H. G. Wells worked here in 1880 as a drafter's apprentice. Yeah, an interesting little. <laughs> Would never have known, eh? There's the Guild Hall again. There's the Guild Hall on this busy street. And over there, maybe up, is Windsor Castle. And uh, Queen Victoria. Yeah. This is the main uh, Peabody Street. 
shop, it's a pedestrianised shopping street in uh, Windsor. Pretty close to where I'm staying now, so yeah, more or less the end of the walk. It's just starting to rain, perfect timing. There's where I caught the bus to the village in Great Windsor, and uh, just up there to the left is the uh, shopping, pedestrianised shopping centre. There's, that's the apartment complex, I'm staying in one of the apartments. And I have to go up here and cross, uh, cross a footbridge, cross the road to gain access, access to the uh, apartments. It's gated. Well, that's the end of this walk.